As many of you know, I guess invest a lot of time and money into creating great online tools. These tools can assist you in selecting the correct cable, energy chain, plane bearing, slide table, and much more. One of the newest online tools is the Robot Configurator. When you arrive at the IGUS homepage, you can hover over configurators and cable carriers, and then click on TriFlex Robot Equipment Configurator. You could also be on the TriFlex homepage and click on the top banner to go to the configurator. Once you arrive, you will see several drop downs, boxes to click, and information below. Clicking the initial drop down menu shows you the many factors that we have available on the configurator. If you are working with an OEM that does not appear in the drop down, it doesn't mean that we do not have a solution for that robot. It just means that it's not on the configurator. If that's the case, please feel free to contact IGUS and we'd be happy to assist you. By choosing a manufacturer, you can then go to the robot type. As you can see, the ABB has several different robot types. Clicking on any one of the robot types will take you to the next step, which is selecting the model. It's important to select the correct model. Depending on the robot, the length of the arm can change, the end of arm flange diameter can change, as well as the mounting configuration. So this information is key. The next group of icons below is how you determine which access you would like to equip. You can choose not to equip access two and just go with access three to six or just go two and three to six is not chosen. At this point, you can choose the retraction system you would like to configure onto your robot. The first option is the TriFlex Fiber Rod Module. It is a tension-based system that centers the cable management over the top of the arm, keeping it off the arm. It is best suited to be used in a palletizing environment where the end of arm tool is facing downwards and axis six is rotating no more than plus or minus 180 degrees. The second option is the TriFlex RS system. It is a deflected system that creates tension by the use of fiber rods. And this system can be used in almost all applications and is available with a cover if one is needed. The third option is the RSC wheel system, and this is a lightweight system that is available in our 40 to 50 millimeter TriFlex size. The fourth option being our most popular and most commonly purchased is the RSC linear. It's available in a wide variety of sizes, and it also requires the shortest cable lengths due to the lack of deflection. Finally, not pictured because of the size of the robot, is our RSP system. It could be the right choice for you if your application is an overhead gantry or wall mounted application where the arm of the robot is pointing down most of the time. For the purposes of our demonstration, we'll select the RSC linear and click next. When you arrive at the next page, your robot model is populated with the components for the access you designated for cable management. The robots we display on the pages are simple renderings and their appearance will only change color from one manufacturer to another. So don't worry if the robot doesn't look exactly like your robot. To the right, there are more drop downs. If you would like to change the robot OEM type or model, you can do so in these drop downs. Perhaps you would like to check out IGUS's options for universal robots. You can click on it, scroll through any one of the options here, the robot models. You can choose different mounting options, or you can go to a different manufacturer such as Fanuc and see our options there as well. So if I click on the M710, you'll see that there are several different robot models, as I mentioned before. And for a robot like this, it's particularly important to get the robot model correct. For example, if you click on the 50, you may have this 
adapter. But if you click on a different one, the end of arm tool may change. You can also choose a different retraction system. If you felt like the one that you chose wasn't the correct one, you can choose a different triflex size as well as a different triflex series. Depending on the robot type and model you have, certain sizes will or won't be available for you. For example, if I change to an R2000, you can see that the 50 size is no longer available for me. You can also decide whether or not you want to include a tennis racket in your bill of materials by clicking here. Of course, I guess is always going to uh, say that we think you should be using a tennis racket. Um, you can click here for an RSC support. Whenever you're using the RSC and it is available, the support arm should be used. You can add additional lengths or protectors, and you should always leave this box checked for a disassembly tool. If you want to populate access to, you can do so, and immediately the components pop up. By adding or subtracting additional chain lengths, you will get additional lengths here at the bottom and a strain relief bracket here. If you scroll down, you'll see your bill of materials where it shows your quantity, part numbers, the description, as well as lengths of triflex throughout your bill of materials. You can see that axis three to six and axis two is separated as well. This could be for quoting purposes if you're deciding whether or not you wanted to include access to. Once you've completed your selections, you can scroll down and click next. At this page, you'll have your bill of materials in your picture again. You can choose whether you want to add multiple systems if you have a large job. You can request a quotation for the entire package shown here by clicking this button following through and adding your contact information. If you only wanted pricing on certain parts, you could order single parts for a quotation. Some of you may be familiar with our CAD site. If you click here, you'll be taken to that site where you can enter any of these part numbers and access CAD files in a wide variety of uh, modes. You're going to want to click a PDF report, download the PDF report, and I'll show you that in a moment. Uh, you can be taken to our assembly videos on our homepage, which is an asset when you're first working with our product line. Uh, you should definitely uh, take advantage of these assembly videos to help with installation. Um, and then finally, you can save the configuration for future reference. Uh, if you're going to be using this type of robot in this configuration quite often, you could save that. But quite frankly, I would just download the PDF report and um, work with it. So if I download that PDF report, and open it up. You'll see your robot manufacturer type and model just to confirm that you've got all that right. Then you'll get your robot right here with all the components over top and bubble numbered. And then you can scroll down for a complete uh, description and quantity of each of these parts. This is great if you're going to hand this off to an installer, someone that will be using this uh, uh, product to put on your robot, it's always handy to have this available to them in your installation manuals. If for some reason you wanted to change your selections, you could click the back to selections button and then scroll through the same process again. If you've completed these steps, you're well on your way to installing the most advanced cable management system for industrial robots. As always, if you have further questions, you can contact your local territory sales representative or visit igus.com and reach out to any one of us. Thank you for taking the time out of your day to view this webinar and we look forward to assisting you with an upcoming project.